Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! Lee, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We, I saw my parents. It's a good thing. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. Find Omid and Krista. What do you think? Oh, man, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr.? No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially the Lomid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello? Please have water. Figures.
I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. Leave me alone. Don't think I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. Please stop. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Uh. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We need to find a group. People we can trust. We've been on our own for too long. Trust? 
You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. This won't burn. might burn. You think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself! Bullshit! She's lying! Cut the shit, lady! It's, it's just me! Come on, guys! She's not saying! You expect us to believe you're out here all alone?
Get the fuck over here! Now! Fucker. Come out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! Krista, are you there?
okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? <coughs> Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like it's been here for a while. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. Nothing edible. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Wanna go again? Get it, Sam. I bet you missed this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy. Darn. It was good while it lasted, though, right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. <sighs> no food here, either. Please let there be something good in there. Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> I am so sick of that smell. Find anything yet? There you go. 
I'm not gonna hurt you. Sam? Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? That looks like it hurt. Stand back, okay? Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Poor guy. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? <sighs> well, here we go. Oh my god, thank you. Look, Sam, a can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess you are pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. 
so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. Hmm. I'm not sure how the group's gonna feel about another mouth to feed. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? <clears throat> no, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. So what do we do now? No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Hmm. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Well, you better be fine. Cause I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Damn it. Do I have to be the man around? Okay. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look.
It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have- I know you're skeptical, but please, just trust me. I ain't falling for that shit, little girl. If it was up to me, you'd be dead already. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. It really, really hurts. And it's only gonna get worse. A dog, you say? Do you think it could have had rabies? Out here? Who knows? Right now, that's the least of your concerns. Don't look to me, girl. I want nothing to do with you. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out, with it. Out, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog, you'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. <laughs> 